Welcome to LPA's Cognos Analytics Quick Bites. Our session today is titled Modeling 101 Merging Tables. The Modeling 101 series exists to show you some cool tips and tricks you can use when modeling data in Cognos data modules. I think you'll find that this is a very user-friendly set of modeling capabilities and it can allow you to take your data to that next level using Cognos. So let's go ahead and open a simple data module that I've started called Quick Byte Data Module. If you watched the Quick Byte session on uh, intent-driven modeling, this is the module that we created. Basically now my goal as a modeler is to clean it up, to make it easy to use so that, that people that wanna create reports or do analytics or explorations against it have the smoothest experience possible. Now, one thing about the way my data is organized here is there are one, two, three, four, five product related tables. And that, you know, for this size model probably isn't too much to worry about, but really when I'm gonna expand this and grow this model, we're gonna to wanna to take the product attributes and combine them into one merged view. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna control click my five product tables here on the workspace. I could also do it over here on the left side in the data module pane. Once they're selected, I'm going to right click and choose new table. This will give me an option. Now you see there's six options here, but only one is highlighted. The reason there's only one highlighted because create a view of tables is my only option when I select more than uh, three or more tables. Other options include creating copies, creating joined views, unions, intersects, and accept. All these options, several of them great modeling tips, right? If we talk about role playing in a future quick bite, we'll be able to see why I would copy a date dimension repeatedly, right? To join it to my order date, ship date, et cetera, things like that. But in this case, because I have five tables selected, creating a view is my sole option. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And we'll see before I go too far, I can give it a name. I'm gonna call it products, plural, right? It needs to be unique, but the default name there was a little ugly. So I cleaned it up. We're gonna call it products, plural. And then I can go through here and choose the fields that I want to include. So in this case, I'm going to be very English focused. I've got all these great languages, but let's go ahead and just unchoose all those fields and say, let's only include the English brand now, why didn't I pick the brand code? That's because in my main product table, I have all of my codes and I don't need them twice. So I'm only gonna pick what I need from the tables. Same thing for product type. I'll go ahead and unselect everything, choose the English description. Looks like I have two codes here. I'm gonna include product line code in this case for a future relationship that we may show you in a quick bite about relationships. Let's go ahead and continue that theme on down of unselecting and including the English label. At the end of that, I should have 14 columns selected. I can click refresh to see what my combined table is gonna look like. Scroll across, looks like I've got good data, not a lot of redundancy. And my five tables, when I click finish, have become one merged custom table. You see I'm brought back to the custom tables tab. If I wanna see how that works on the relationship side of thing, click onto that relationships tab and now I see my new asset. I do need to relate this new merge table back into the model so I can do that with a relationship. I can also then hide these five tables from the overall model, which is really the key point here is to have users not juggling five tables when we can juggle one. So let's just create a folder I'm gonna be very literal and call it hidden. Choose the properties here. Come on out and toggle on hidden. That's the long way to do it. I could have also uh, right clicked and chosen show to users or hide from users. That toggle will make it hidden. But once you see it's grayed out, then I can take my five old tables that I no longer need, drag them right into that hidden folder. and they are now part of that hidden folder. They are gonna show up on my works, workspace here, right? They're still an important part. The relationships between them matter to that joined table. Uh, I can't just delete them at this point because they are leveraged. But from a user perspective, now that I have a merged products table and I've hidden those additional tables, 
when I click out to see what the user experience looks like in the reporting interface, I see a very clean, a very easy to use model that includes my products merge table. Thank you for joining us in this CA Quick Bytes Modeling 101. Hope to see you again soon.